Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply and blend out eyeshadows super easy with a very simple winged eyeliner and magnetic eyelashes. It's super quick and easy to do, perfect for beginners. So I hope you guys like it. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. And give this one a big thumbs up if you like this look. And now, Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by cleaning the bottom of my eyebrows with the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer and the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. You can see that this concealer is a shade a bit lighter than the rest of my face, but that's okay because when the eyeshadow is complete, it won't look so light. And I'm also going to use this concealer as a primer for my eyeshadows. You can blend this out with your finger, a little brush, or a sponge. I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. And I always have to say this because it's very important. The primer that you apply for the eyeshadows has to be nice and blended out. You want the primer to be even on your eyelid with no creases in order for the eyeshadows to blend out smoothly. Today I'm going to be using the Amber Eyes eyeshadow palette from Profusion. I'm going to grab this one with the Profusion brush. It's their small pointed eyeshadow brush ES6. Since I didn't set the concealer, I'm going to apply this in tapping motions all over my eyelid because I don't want the concealer to move, which is another important thing because if you don't want to swipe on the eyeshadow, then you're going to be able to see the streaks from the brush. So to avoid that, just apply it in tapping motions. And you can see that this eyeshadow has a lot of pigmentation that with just one layer of this eyeshadow covers up the whole eyelid, which is one of the reasons why I love this eyeshadow palette and it's very affordable. I'm going to clean the brush on the back of my hand just a little bit because I'm going to be using the same one for the next brush. I mean for the next eyeshadow and I'm going to use this eyeshadow to help blend out the dark eyeshadow on my eyelid a lot better and it helps a lot if I stretch my eyelid by lifting my eyebrow a little bit. This is something I learned a long time ago and it really helps me especially to blend out dark eyeshadows. So if you're a beginner try stretching out the eyelid like this and see if it helps you too. I hope it does. Now you can see that the other eye, the eyeshadow is closer to the eyebrow. So I'm going to keep repeating the same step by ap keep applying the same eyeshadows and slowly moving it up towards my eyebrows. But every layer that you apply, you want to apply it lower than where you want the eyeshadows to look nice and blended. So I'm always going to apply the layer right on the crease. And then once I have a little bit left on the brush, I'm going to start blending it out in circular motions, moving it closer to the eyebrow. And I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. I'm going to start with the lightest shade and using a smaller brush. You want to use a small brush, especially if you're going to apply dark eyeshadows on the lower lash line because you don't want to start with a lot of product. And once it's time to apply the dark eyeshadow, I am going to apply it as close to the lash line as I can in tapping motions. And then I slowly start blending it lower than that, but not as low as the first one because I obviously don't want to cover that up. And I always connect it on the outer corner with the eyeshadow on the top. Next, I'm gonna grab this eyeliner pencil from Rimmel and put it on my waterline. You can use a lighter shade. If you don't want your eyes to look small, a lighter shade will help open up your eyes a little bit. Next, I'm going to grab this highlighter from Anastasia and with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush, I'm going to apply it on my brow bone right on the arch of the eyebrow just a little bit. This will help the whole look look a little bit more glamorous. It makes your eyebrows stand out a lot more. It's, it's a little touch that can make a big difference. Now I'm going to apply my magnetic eyelashes from Isom Lux. Isom Lux is my brand. Th these are in the style Night Out and the eyeliner is included. The applicator is very flexible and this one's perfect for beginners because it's a lot easier to do an eyeliner. And I'm going to do a simple winged liner. You obviously don't have to do the wing part. You can just keep it simple with just the thin eyeliner above the roots of your eyelashes. 
Then I'm gonna grab my magnetic lashes and I don't have to wait a long time to apply them. And these are a lot easier and faster to apply. You just do a quick liner and apply them. And since they're magnets, you can adjust them at any time. The eyeliner is water resistant, so they'll last all day and night. I will leave the link to my website in the descri description box below in case you guys are interested. Last step is to apply mascara on my top eyelashes to stick the natural lashes and the fake, fake lashes together. And then just a little bit on my lower lashes and that completes the whole look. I really hope you guys like this whole look. Let me know in the comments below what you think and what other videos you'd want me to do. And don't forget to check out my brand, Isom Lux. Like I said, I'll leave the website, the link to my website in the, in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!